watching the British emergency broadcasting system. The alert state is unknown, presumed black. It's 2600 hours and time for the quiz broadcast. Hello, good evening, and remain indoors. <laughs> Welcome to the second and final hour of broadcasting for this week. Let's start by welcoming back last week's lucky runners-up, Peter and Sheila, and last week's unlucky winner, Maltesers. <laughs> Such a shame that that prize turned out to be contaminated. <laughs> so, Peter and Sheila, you're through to the next round. Will there be food? I ate my watch. <laughs> Yes, of course. It's two weeks since the last of the food parcels was distributed. But that means it's all to play for, because who knows, one of tonight's prizes might be food. They keep us alive for their sport. <laughs> so, let's start with the odd one out round. Fingers on buzzers. Which of these is the odd one out? A ceremonial helmet? <laughs> the last child? <laughs> President Butterfly? And the event. Could we eat Maltesers? <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure that's against the regulations. Blessed, Blessed be, be the, the regulations. regulations. <laughs> Come on, a helmet, the last child, President Butterfly and the event. Think about it. Except the event. So don't think about the event. <laughs> uh, is it... The event? Yes, the event is the odd one out, of course, because it destroyed the other three. <laughs> so, so let's move on to our headline round, featuring this week's guest publication, The Newspaper. <laughs> Sheila and Peter, your headline is Oomsday. <laughs> what was Oomsday? Was it between Tuesday and birthday? <laughs> Uh, that sound means that's all we've got time for. Yes, it is regulations. Yes, I can hear them in the dark. Well, it seems we're having some technical problems, so while you remain indoors and we send Sheila off to be voltage calmed, here's some music. <laughs> 